Today, I'm going to be talking about the seven outfits that every woman over 40 needs. Plus, I'll be sharing my picks for the most comfortable pumps. Hi, this is Netta. Welcome to my channel. My whole goal for this channel is to help you look and feel beautiful and confident every single day by building a wardrobe and a style that you love. So if that sounds like something you're interested in, definitely hit the subscribe button before you leave. Really excited about this episode of the Ageless Style Show. The Ageless Style Show is my Tuesday format on YouTube, and I cover a couple of different um, topics in um, the Ageless Style Show. So let's get into it. My very first segment is the question of the week. So this question is from Pamela. Pamela asked for some recommendations for comfortable pumps. I love, love, love pumps. They're so classic. They're feminine. They're flattering on the foot. Um, and I just think that they're, they're one of those styles of shoes that every pretty much every woman could use in her wardrobe. Even if you're only pulling it out for special occasions or maybe for church or for a wedding or, um, I, I just think that a classic pair of pumps is a must have for most women. If you're looking at investing in a pair that maybe is a little bit more than you would normally spend on a pair of shoes, my suggestion is always to go for a color that's close to your hair color. Um, it's going to be your most neutral neutral. So that's just something to think about if you're looking at investing in a pair of pumps that, um, that maybe is a little bit more expensive and out of your comfort zone price-wise. Another thing I would suggest is considering a pair of suede pumps. Suede is seasonless now. You can wear them year-round, and I think they are so, so chic. Um, even though in Florida they're not 100% summer friendly, I still love my suede pump. So if you're looking at kind of elevating your, your pump um, wardrobe, then consider a pair in a beautiful suede. Okay, so my favorite comfortable pumps and a perennial favorite for a lot of people are the Sam Edelman Hazel pumps. So the Hazel pumps from Sam Edelman are just, they're always, they always come out with them every single year. They come out in a bunch of different colors. They come out in different you know, finishes, they'll have the crock print or the suede or the regular leather. Um, this pair, which is a beautiful, you know, pink suede is $140. So they are in that, you know, $100 to $150 range generally. Just a great pair of classic timeless pumps that happen to be really, really comfortable. So I love the Sam Edelman Hazel. Now Sam Edelman isn't a comfort brand, but doesn't mean that their pumps can't be comfortable. Now, if you're looking at something in a similar price point and you want it from a brand that is just sort of known for comfort and committed to comfort, I would suggest the Naturalizer Anna pump. This is a beautiful pump. It's a classic pump. Um, you're looking for a sleek heel and a sleek toe because if you've got like a really, you can do a block heel, but if you've got like a weird like clunky heel or a clunky toe, it's just not going to be as flattering of a look and it's going to date a lot more quickly. So I love this Naturalizer Anna pump. It's $124.95, so a little bit less expensive than the um, Sam Edelman, but still, you know, just a great classic pump that's known for comfort. I also really like this one from Naturalizer. This is called, um, actually, I'm not even sure what the name of this. Is this the Sandrine? This is just a, another beautiful pump from Naturalizer. I love these little scraps on it. I love the green croc pattern. These are currently on sale for $104.99. They were originally $150, so these are all, you know, in that $100 to $150 range, these, these um, ones that I'm mentioning kind of my midpoint and I'm going to go lower and I'll go higher in price. So I love this one. Um, I think it's so elegant. If you're looking for some, a, a pump with a little extra detail on it, that could be actually really, really beautiful. Um, let's look at a couple of others. So Naturalizer is always um, a safe bet and they do have a, a couple of styles. Like I said, Rockport, their total motion pumps are amazing. And so they usually have a style called the Sheehan um, that that pump style has a beautiful um, heel, a beautiful shape. It's just a really elegant looking pump. Um, they were kind of out of, uh, out of stock in some of the Sheehan pumps, but it is a perennial. It does come back again and again in different um, patterns and different colors and different textures. So definitely worth checking out. I also really like the their classic is their total motion pointed toe heel in a 75 millimeter um, heel height. So this one is like in a black kind of uh, faux animal finish and I just think it's a really really elegant and timeless classic black pump. So the Rockport ones, the Total Motion is one that I definitely recommend from Rockport. 
Okay, so let's go a little higher end. My favorites in this category are the Inez Lola pump. This is just so beautiful. It comes in, this isn't a blush suede, but it comes in a lot of different colors and um, different finishes. And it's just a beautiful classic pump at a wearable height that is really, really comfortable at 258. Okay, my favorite of the high end comfortable pumps. I mentioned this brand many times on this channel is Sarah Flint. Um, Sarah Flint is based out of New York. For some reason at one point I thought that they were British and I think it's because Meghan Markle is the one who put them on my radar way back. But Sarah Flint is actually, it's, it's an American company. Um, their pumps are just beautifully, beautifully made and really, really comfortable. So these are the pumps that I had a client walk around a conference, a concrete conference floor for 12 hours in without her feet bothering her. Um, just a little a side you know I'm a big fan of my still standing spray so if pumps even comfortable pumps bother you still standing spray is a miracle worker but this is the um perfect pump 85 from Sarah Flint it is uh, you know more pricey it's 395 but it is beautiful it is timeless it's one of those pairs of shoes that you will literally have for the rest of your life you can have it resold if you take good care of it you will have it forever so definitely recommend the Sarah Flint um perfect pump in uh, the 85, I think it's 85 millimeter heel. So love, love, love that. Okay, so if you want to go a little less expensive, Life's, uh, Life Stride has under $100 and mostly under $50 pumps that I really think are a great option. So this is the Sandrine pump. It's a Mary Jane style pump. Keep in mind that that strap across the top of the foot can shorten the leg line a little bit, but it's a really pretty pump. Nice heel, nice toe, like really flattering. Um, I also like the Life Stride Suki. This is kind of a fun, strappy pump that has a little bit of extra detail to it if you're looking for something a little bit funkier. Um, so those are my, my picks for pumps in the under 100 category, 100 to 150 category, and then above 150 uh, category that are actually comfortable, that you can walk in, that you can wear for years to come, and that I think you will love. So thanks for the question, Pamela. I know a lot of people have this question. Can you find a pair of comfortable heels? In my opinion, yes, you can. Obviously, a lot of women have different fit issues or different foot issues that might make some of these not wearable for you. So let me know in the comments below if um, you want more suggestions based on your specific needs and challenges when it comes to finding comfortable shoes. Okay, my next segment is my buzzworthy pick of the week. So this comes from Prime Cosmetics. Cause, like a good cause, medics. Um, and this is their Prime Lash Mascara. This is such a hit product and it's become a real instant hit and kind of a cult favorite. So this is a strengthening, lengthening and volumizing mascara. So I'm wearing it now. I've been wearing it for a couple of weeks. One of the things I really like about this mascara is it gives um, like an instant, like you can, you can see your lashes almost double in length right away. It really, really is a great lengthening mascara. I would say this is more lengthening than volumizing. So if you're looking for really fat lashes, you might want to look at a different option, but this is an amazing lengthening mascara. It gives your lashes that fluttery, long and natural look where it looks like, oh, these are just my lashes, right? So I love, love, love that about this mascara. But one of the really cool things about the mascara is the brush. So this brush is designed to really get the tiny little sparse, uh, or sparse, 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 um, you know, lash hairs that we, we get as we get older. So, you know, our lashes lose volume and fullness. My lashes used to be really, really thick. I almost used to never wear mascara. They're still on the thick side, but they're not like they used to be. And so even the little baby lashes, this mascara wand is designed to really get the, the, tiniest lashes and make the most of them. It's really, really easy to apply and um, just, you know, just goes on very, very smoothly. There are no clumps. There are no smears. I've been wearing it day in and day out. I have oily eyelids, so I tend to get a little bit of mascara transfer on my eyelids and this not has not happened with this mascara at all. So I definitely recommend that. One of the things that it says, okay, it's no clump, no smear, no smudges. Absolutely can attest to that. It's vegan and cruelty free and um, 
you know, made of really, really clean ingredients. So for, for those of you who find that really, really important, I think it's a great benefit. Vegan and cruelty-free, um, smudge-free, lasts all day, is easy to apply and it's easy to remove and it really does magnify the lashes that you have um, as you get older. The, the, but the I think one of the biggest benefits of this type of mascara is that it is actually strengthening your lashes. So it's... Um, it says two times instant elongation, which is something I can totally attest to. Like your your lashes are twice as long and like it's immediate, but it also promotes lash growth and lash health. So as you're applying it, not only are you lengthening your lashes, but you're treating your lashes so that they get stronger, they stay, you know, they, they don't fall out, they stay strong, they stay healthy, and you're able to maintain that, um, that la the lashes that you do have. So I absolutely love, love this Prime Lash Lengthening and Volumizing Mascara. So this is for a lucky viewer. So if you're interested in the um, Prime Lash Mascara, let me know in the comments below why you would like to try this, and I can't wait to send it to one of you. So I know you'll love it as much as I do. Like I said, I've been wearing it for a couple weeks now, and I'm a huge fan. Okay, so now we're on to the main topic of the video, seven outfits that every woman needs over 40. Now, I'm not going to share outfit formulas here. It's not; These are not specific outfits, but these are specific results that outfits can give you in terms of how you feel and in your confidence. So, you know, we, we know that we can put on one outfit and feel one way and another outfit and feel another way, but often we're not intentional about how we how we think this through. So there are going to be days when you want to feel one way and you want to, to have your clothes support you in that and help you get there. And then there are other, other days where you're going to want a different result and a different feeling from your clothing. So that's kind of what we're talking about here, how your clothes make you feel and how you can be intentional about curating your, your wardrobe and putting together outfits that will give you these desired like feelings. And, and, and set you up for a really successful day, right? Okay, so the first way that I like to feel in my clothes is elegant and timeless. So every woman, in my opinion, needs an outfit that will make her feel elegant and timeless, that she feels really chic in. She feels like, you know, she could go anywhere and it's just kind of classic and, and it's elegant and it just gives her that, that sense of, of um, relaxed elegance. So for me, um, a beautiful monochromatic look can give me that elegant and timeless look. So this is an outfit for my Instagram. It's a Trina Turk a wine colored um, turtleneck and a wine colored leather skirt. Now your elegant and timeless look might be totally different than my elegant and timeless look. But for me, the combination of a turtleneck and leather is so elegant and so timeless. It, of course, this is not my only elegant and timeless outfit. There are other ideas that are other outfits that I've worn that also give me that same feeling. Um, honestly, wearing a white button down shirt and jeans is an elegant and timeless look for me and makes me feel polished and, and confident when I put it on. Um, wearing a blazer or an outfit with a blazer is a really easy and, and um, quick way for me to feel elegant and timeless and to have that kind of um, mood in my outfit. So what is it about your outfits that makes you feel elegant and timeless. What do you wear that gives you that feeling of elegance, that gives you that classic feeling, that gives you that timeless feeling? It's going to be different for each one of us, but I want you to go into your wardrobe after, after this video. First of all, write down elegant and timeless, and I want you to pick your elegant and timeless outfit. What does that look like for you? Is it jeans and a t-shirt? Is it uh, a suit? Is it a beautiful little black dress with pumps? What What is that elegant and timeless? look for you. There's no right or wrong answer here. It's what gives you that feeling and helps you, helps carry you through your day with that feeling. Okay, the next um, way that I like to feel in my clothes is confident and powerful. And so when I want to feel confident and powerful, I pull out my power color. And for me, that power color is red. I love, love, love the bright, like poppy red as my power color. Makes me feel vibrant. It makes me feel confident. Makes me feel like I can take on the world. If I was going to be doing a speaking um, engagement or um, having a meeting with somebody and I just really wanted to exude confidence, to exude uh, my own sense of you know power and personal style, I would pick um, something with a really strong shape in my 
favorite power color, so red. And everyone knows that um, I've, I've talked about this Trina Turk top that I absolutely love. Here I am at Christmas Eve last year wearing that top on a windy day in a park with um, kind of skinny leather pants. This outfit made me feel like a million dollars. And whether I wear it with the black pants, which is typical, like if I'm gonna do a presentation, I'll wear it with black pants and black pumps and dress it up a little, or whether I'm wearing it a little bit more casually like I am here with shorts, just wearing that powerful color and that strong shape, that interesting shape, um, just makes me feel really, really confident and like I can tackle anything. So think about what your power color is, what your power shape is, what your power silhouette is. What outfit, when you put on, helps you exude confidence, makes you feel strong, makes you feel like you can tackle anything that the day throws at you? Let me know in the comments. I can't wait to see what your confident and powerful outfit is. Okay, my next outfit is a feminine and flirty outfit. So, you know, these are the outfits that make us feel girly. Um, and maybe girly doesn't resonate with you. Maybe it's feminine. Maybe it's ladylike. Whatever it is that, that kind of brings out our femininity. I think it's so important to have a couple of pieces in our wardrobe that just make us feel like the women that we are, right? And, and you know, these are nice for date nights, but they're also fun for um, girly events like, you know, baby showers or bridal showers or or um, brunches with friends. They're just feminine pieces that we can reach for when we want to just kind of play up our femininity and our womanliness. So I love this free people top. Uh, this is a current top and a current look that I, oh, I shot just a month or so ago on my Instagram. I just think it's so, so feminine. And when I put it on, I just feel beautiful, feminine, elegant, like lovely. It's just, you know, one of those looks that just makes you feel like, oh, I feel so pretty. Um, I also love this look of um, just a feminine soft dress in a floral pattern. I just think um, you can't beat a floral dress for a feminine and flirty feeling. So again, great for a date night, but great for so many other occasions as well. What is it that makes you feel feminine and flirty? It could be very different. It might not be an obvious floral like mine. Maybe it's just wearing a color that's a little different to you. Maybe it's a silhouette. Maybe it's a, a fabric. Maybe you feel feminine in silk or you feel feminine in um, angora or whatever. So let me know in the comments. Can't wait to hear what your feminine and flirty outfits look like. Okay, the next outfit that I have to have in my wardrobe at all times is something that makes me feel comfortable and relaxed. Now, I'm not talking about sweats here, although obviously we can get that effect from sweats and from leisure wear and lounge wear. I'm talking about something a little bit more elevated that still makes me feel comfortable, makes me feel like I can run around all day and do everything I need to do and not have to worry about what I'm wearing. Um, and it makes me feel um, just relaxed and, and you know, like I'm going to have a good time. So I love a, a pretty blouse and a pair of jeans and a comfortable pair of mules. That's a go-to for me on um, a busy day when I want to feel comfortable. I want to feel relaxed, but I still really want to look put together. Again, these aren't sweats, but they're comfortable jeans, a really pretty easy to pull on top, and a great pair of slip-on shoes is a formula for me that I use a lot when I want that comfortable and relaxed feeling. Um, another easy way for me to feel comfortable and relaxed is to grab a jumpsuit, a dress, or a two-piece coordinating outfit like this one. This is from Isle Apparel, um, and it's um, a really comfortable pair of pull-on pants with an elasticized waist and a matching sleeveless top. I'm, pairing, I'm wearing it here with a white perforated leather jacket, but I often wear it alone as well. And just having that two-piece outfit, it's really, really comfortable. It's relaxed. It's easy to pull on. And at the same time, it makes me feel um, chic and like I'm ready for whatever the day brings. So what is your comf uh, comfortable and relaxed outfit? Let me know in the comments below. Again, everyone's are going to look different, right? Okay, my next category of clothes that I have to have is something that makes me feel hip and trendy. Now, I have a 15-year-old daughter and a 13-year-old daughter, and when I want to feel hip, we were just talking about this in the Ageless Style program uh, workshop last night. Um, one of the women in the program is going to a rock concert, and I told her, if you're going to a concert, there's that fine line, you know, you're going to be around a lot of younger people. You don't want to look like you're trying too hard, because that looks... It has the opposite effect. It makes you look older. It makes us look kind of silly. Like we don't want to look like we're trying too hard. We just want to look like 
we fit in, but it still works for where we're at and the age that we're at in life. So my recommendation for her was a great pair of jeans and um, like a, a, just a simple graphic tee or a rock tee or you know just a t-shirt and jeans, cool pair of shoes, a cool pair of pumps, a moto jacket if she wanted to, but not necessary if it's going to be warm. And to just keep that look really simple, really casual. That's what all the kids will be wearing, but that's one of those outfit formulas that you can wear at 20, you can wear at 60, you can wear at 80 and you're still going to be polished so um, it's still gonna you know look appropriate for the occasion so when I want to look hip and trendy a shirt and jeans is an easy way to pull this off um, it's the opposite of what we sometimes we think we have to try hard to look hip and I think it's really being a little understated and being a little casual that can give us that kind of hip feeling and I know like I said if I'm if I'm around a lot of my daughter's friends and I want to be accessible if I'm if I'm um, uh, leading the small group at youth at church um, this is the time Type of look that I'll pull out because um, it makes me look relatable it makes me look like I kind of know what's going on a little bit without it making me look like I'm trying to be a kid so I love this outfit I know this is a controversial pair of jeans because they're ripped it does not have to be a ripped pair of jeans but really um, a blouse or a tee or a top and a pair of jeans is just an easy way for me to feel hip and trendy without looking like I'm trying too hard um, another formula that works this way for me is a pair of uh, jean shorts or my white like free people denim shorts. I will pull those on with a tee and feel relaxed and you know like I am hip enough to hang out with my daughter's friends for the 10 or 15 seconds that I get to do so. Um, okay so the next outfit that I feel like every woman needs in her arsenal is something that makes you feel glamorous and special. A dress when you put it on that you're like, oh, I feel amazing in this dress. I feel like, um, you know, like I, I, I could go to a party or I could go to any event and just feel really, really special, really, really beautiful. And so this dress is from Keepsake the Label. It's an Australian company. This is an older look from my Instagram from a, a year or maybe even two years ago. And I love it. it the combination of the red and white and the stripes and um, the shape and the drama, it just makes me feel like a million dollars. Like I just love this dress. I love the silhouette. I love the whole feeling behind this picture. So something that you put on and you're like, yes. Here I am, that glamorous, that really special feeling. Every woman deserves to feel that way. We don't have, especially in 2021, that many opportunities to feel really glamorous and special in our lives. Maybe for you, it's just the sparkly cami with jeans. Maybe it's a totally different, um, you know, outfit to this. But you need something, and you deserve something that makes you feel beautiful and like a million dollars. So that absolutely has that effect for me. Another thing that kind of makes me feel glamorous and special is this outfit, very different feeling. This is from Roller Rabbit. Um, I love this pattern. I loved, I actually, in, in some of my pictures, I wore like a bandana kind of kerchief on my hair, same pattern as the dress. Um, I loved it with these shoes because it was really, really matchy matchy and something about having this completely pulled together head to toe deliberate look made me feel really glamorous and I, like I was a little more high maintenance and living a more high maintenance life than I actually am so um, it can look different for every woman what is it that makes you feel like this is a really really special outfit and I feel really really glamorous in it okay the last outfit that I think every woman over 40 over 50 needs in her arsenal is something that makes you feel festive and fun. Of course, holiday season is coming up. It's going to look different for everybody. Not everybody dresses up for the holidays. I will take any opportunity available to dress up, and I love dressing up for the holidays. This is a little Johnny Beanie beaded cocktail dress. It's got kind of like a 1920s feeling to it, and I just loved the, the workmanship on this dress. I loved the details on this dress. I put it on, and it was like an instant party in a dress, and that's what I'm talking about with this um, with this category what makes you feel like you're ready for a party and um, I, I just I put this on and you don't need to do much else to it like you need a pair of shoes and that's pretty much it a clutch and you're ready to go right so this dress had all all of the the, the glamour all of the festivity built in um, already and you know it's just a beautiful and effortless uh, I also liked this dress this is just a satiny dress in this beautiful kind of Bordeaux color that really 
really says holidays to me. I paired it with a really glamorous pair of earrings, and to me, that's just a fun and festive look. So what makes you feel fun and festive? What could you pull out as holiday season is approaching for Christmas parties, for cocktail parties, maybe for office parties, however you're planning on celebrating this season that will really help you capture the spirit of the season in an outfit. Um, let me know in the comments below what you thought of these categories. Am I missing a category? Is there something that you're like, but she didn't say how to feel this in an outfit or that in an outfit? Clearly, there are a lot of different ways that you can look in your clothes and or feel about the way that you look in your clothes. And um, I can do a part two of this if you guys have some ideas for me, but I want to know what your choices for outfits, what your go-tos in some of these categories are. And if you can really see style the way that I see it, which is as a tool to help you have a more successful, productive, confident, happy, vibrant, positive life. It is a tool like any of the other tools that we draw on. It's equally important, but it's not more important than anything else that we do. And if we can see it as something that we are in control of and it's not in control of us, it's 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 something that we can pull out and get a desired effect from when we need to, it really makes us feel more in control of our style and of how we're presenting ourselves to the world. So. I hope you enjoyed this video. I know it's a little bit different than what I've been doing in the past. I'm mixing it up a little. Let me know what you think in the comments. If you enjoyed it, of course, please hit the like button. Um, let me know what you think and definitely hit the notification bell. I upload new videos every Tuesday and every Friday and I'd love to have you join us. We have a lovely and positive community both here and on Facebook. Thanks so much. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.